9.35. It's Friday morning. You're watching Breakfast Television. All right, we're going to tell you something that you can use this morning right away, put into place in cleaning your house. Alicia Sokolowski is back with us from Aspen Clean. Now, we're making up really household cleaners here, aren't we? That's right. Do you think not enough people know this? Like, nobody knows you can make this stuff. That's right, yeah. You can actually use some of the products that you already have in your kitchen cupboards, like uh, baking soda, okay. a great scouring powder, vinegar, cuts through grease very well. And it sort of, uh, it sort of uh, does everything that regular cleaners or household cleaners do, right? That's it's, right. It's a bit of a, like a bleach. It cleans everything. It's That's what our grandmothers used. Oh. They their houses the... were all clean, right? Exactly. Okay. Water, very effective on its own. Never and underestimate the power of water. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, especially if you clean on a regular basis. Yeah. Uh, Castile soap. And what is that? It's a very basic soap that you can buy in a health food store. Okay. And it's totally biodegradable. Okay. So it's the best type of soap that you, you can use. Okay. Uh, borax, also a product naturally occurring in nature, okay. known to be a mild disinfectant. Oh. And uh, what I like very much are the essential oils, known for its... Um, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal properties. And so those you can sort of mix with these other products, right? Exactly. And plus, that's really, it's about the smell. When you clean, it's about making your house smell good and clean. That's what a lot of people think, but really, clean doesn't smell like anything. Right. You can add some essential oils to make your job more pleasurable and also leave the house smelling nice and clean. Okay, so Alicia, if we have all of those ingredients, what can we do with them? What can we do with them? Well, you can make a very effective glass cleaner with just vinegar and water. Okay. You use quarter of a cup of vinegar and four cups of water oh, so to make that. much more water to the vinegar? Okay. Right. And um, another product that's very effective for cleaning yeah. with water only is microfiber cloths. Oh, okay. So invest in something like this is what you're saying? Absolutely, yeah. They are a little bit more expensive than regular cloth, but they are reusable, last for up to two years, and they work great. And why is it that they're so good? They, they are made of a special fiber that's thinner than human hair, and it actually picks up dirt as opposed to just pushing it like a regular cloth. Okay. It, um, it absorbs uh, even bacteria. That's why it's used by a lot of hospitals. Okay. Now. And does it, it probably has less dust and stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't lose a lot of exactly, fibers kind yeah. of thing, right? It actually absorbs it. And it cleans windows um, streak free with water only. Okay. Very, so very that's effective. glass cleaner. Uh, yeah. What else can we do? Um, you can make a very effective multi-purpose cleaner with just Castile soap, a couple yeah. of spoons of Castile soap to a liter of water. Really? Yeah. Just a couple of spoonfuls? Yeah. To a liter of water? Um, uh, tablespoons, yeah. Okay. And um, you can add some essential oils to it. To make it smell good? To make it smell good, to make your cleaning, uh, add some cleaning power. Right. Add tea tree, add lavender. Oh, so it actually cleans better as well if you Absolutely. put those in there? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Um, some of the citrus uh, essential oils have grease cutting properties as well. Oh, okay. So you might want them um, to, you, to add if you're cleaning in the kitchen especially. So when you say all-purpose cleaner, so for the bathroom, for the kitchen, for the counters, that kind of thing? That's uh, absolutely, yes. Okay, and the sink too and all that? Yes, you can okay. use it everywhere. Um, for the ex a little bit extra power, you can make a tub and tile powder for yourself. Um, you add basically baking soda, a little bit of borax, some Castile soap, and of course, don't forget the essential oils. Okay, so what would be the ratio of that? Um, we have the recipe on our website. Okay, which would exactly. be on our website as well, which is citytv.com slash btvancouver. So I guess you have to be careful. You can't just start throwing this stuff together, can Absolutely, you? yeah. You be careful. Check out the recipes. Um, um, Georgia Straits Alliance also have some um, uh, useful recipes for that. Okay, now that, obviously, you'd be saving a lot of money as well if you did this, wouldn't you? Absolutely, yes. It's a lot cheaper, and it's very, very effective. Um, you probably won't have to clean your windows as often as you used to when you use this glass cleaner because um, vinegar actually repels dust, oh. uh, whereas the um, commercial cleaners tend to attract dust so that you clean more often. Isn't there a perception, though, that homemade cleaners aren't as powerful and you won't get the job done as well if you use them? Absolutely, but I really recommend that you try it and you'd be amazed. Really? Okay, yes. what's this boss one you've got out front here? What's this? Well, this is for smell. A lot oh. of people think that if it doesn't smell like anything, it's not clean. <laughs> so, um, true. This is, you add uh, 30 drops of lavender to uh, a container of water like that, and it deodorizes the air. 
makes it smell fresh. Right. But of course, open the windows, that's the best. That always part. helps too, right, <laughs> if you don't want to do that. So you used to keep yourself pretty organized. Is this all your cleaning tools that you have here? That's right. That's uh, where we keep them. And again, the um, microfiber cloths we yeah. use for everything, for all the areas in the kitchen. We use them for dusting. You've got about four different kinds of microfiber cloths here, though. Yeah. Alicia, what, this is like a nice, very thick white one that you've got there. Yeah. And what's this one here? This is a nice, soft... Yeah, kind of suede What texture. would you use this one for? For dusting. Okay. Yeah, we would use a damp spray some water on the, on the cloth. And what about this one? What would you use this for? For then? windows. Okay, so this, and this is a heavier one? Uh, this is a little bit heavier. It's also very absorbent. Oh, okay. Um, this one I would use, well, it works great on the computers. Everybody should have that next to their well, which one of these? Which one of these products can you use for your electronics in your computers? Well, you can ju you just use a damp microfiber cloth. Don't try to use any kind of spray or anything with it? I wouldn't. Oh, no. okay. Water. Water. Just Again, a little bit of water. water. is the best. Okay. Just clean often with water only. All right. That's, that's the my best way to do it. Well, listen, Absolutely. Alicia, thank you very much for the advice this morning. Very useful stuff. Let's get out to Tasha, who's at Construction. Thank you. My pleasure.